Welcome to Elector Online. Just to make sure we understand the process, here we have a slightly different example than we saw in the previous video. Again, we have two objects. We have a pulley that has mass, so therefore we have to take into account the rotational kinetic energy of the, of the pulley because it has a moment of inertia. So instead of using F equals MA, we're going to use torque equals I alpha, the rotational equivalent. So the net torque must equal the moment of inertia of the pulley times the angular acceleration. Of course, the net torque will be the torque aiding minus the torque opposing, and in this case, torque is defined as the force times the distance between the point of rotation and where the force acts. Of course, in this case, the two forces will be the tensions and the strain. Here, we show what the tension and the strings are equal to. Then we just simply plug that in, and notice we solve for A being G times those ratio, the ratio of M2 over the sum of M1, M2, and half of M3. Again, it depends upon, of course, what type of pulley you have. We consider the pulley being a solid disc in this case, but if the pulley is a hollow disc, then of course the moment of inertia will be slightly different. Just plug in a different moment of inertia. And that is how it's done.